Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have appointed their new joint private secretary, a self-described wannabe supermum and experienced diplomat. Meghan and Prince Harry's team Sussex is welcoming its latest addiction, Fiona Silwam, who has been hired as the couple's private secretary. The new private secretary has likely made a good impression on Meghan for her interest in women's rights. But the 45-year-old can also boast several years of experience as a British diplomat. Ms. Silwam, who describes herself as a diplomat and wannabe supermum on Twitter, became in 2009 the youngest British ambassador when she was posted in Albania. The former diplomat got the job both by winning over officials at Buckingham Palace and the couple, who initially wanted to hire someone who had already some working experience in a royal household. The job, the most prestigious position available within the Sussex household, will see Ms. Silwam supporting Meghan and Harry in their royal duties. She will also help them coordinate their official program, manage correspondence, and supervise other staff members. Ms. Silwam will replace the Queen's former aide Samantha Cohen, who is leaving the later this year after having served for a few months in their role following the creation of the household of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Meghan and Harry have faced a series of resignations in the past months, sparking accusations they were being difficult to work with, an accusation fueled by claims the Duchess was sending emails to her staff at 5 a.m. The first person to quit a job within the Sussex household has been Melissa Twopty, Meghan's personal assistant, who left only six months after being hired. Meghan then received the resignations of her bodyguard, a Scotland Yard inspector, and Amy Pickereel, her assistant private secretary. The arrival of Ms. Silwam marks one of the final steps to Meghan and Harry's formal division from Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, and Prince William. In February, the Sunday Times wrote the Sussexes, in a bid to become more independent, were gearing up to separate their household from the Cambridges. A royal source told the newspaper, they wanted their household to be entirely independent of Buckingham Palace, but were told no. There is an institutional structure that doesn't allow that kind of independence. The feeling is that it's good to have the Sussexes under the jurisdiction of Buckingham Palace, so they can't just go off and do their own thing. And, just months following the announcement of the split, the palace also revealed Meghan and Harry were splitting from the Royal Foundation to pursue charitable work closer to their interest. The Royal Foundation, an organization founded in 2009 by William and Harry to allow them focus on causes they care about, such as mental health, will be known as Royal Foundation of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge once the split is completed. On the other hand, Meghan and Harry's new organization will be called the Sussex Royal, the foundation of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. In a statement released in June, the Royal Foundation announced the split, saying Meghan and Harry will be helped by the Cambridges set up their own charity. Saying the royals were incredibly proud of their joint work, the statement added, these changes are designed to best complement the work and responsibilities of their royal highnesses as they prepare for their future roles, and to better align their charitable activity with their new households. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge and the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are incredibly proud of what they have achieved together through the Royal Foundation.